channel it's your girl dj it's your girl dj i am back with another video for you guys um sorry for the the noise the water sound is just my fish tank i do apologize but i'll be trying to get the most lighting or just get it in different lighting so you guys can see but it's a really beautiful chocolate brown with the hints of like hazel or like golden i guess you can say so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and yeah and all right guys so i'm back we do have Eunice, Eunice hair or Eunice, I don't know how to say it, but I think it's Eunice. Eunice hair. Inside the box came the wig cap, an elastic band, the star of the show, the hair. All right guys, so this is what the unit looks like outside the packaging. Super duper duper pretty. All right guys, so I do have their Brazilian Brazilian textured hair. It's a natural pre put long curly lace front wig. Um, all other details I will have in the description section because I don't have them here on hand. So just check down there for full details. But I'm going to show you guys the construction of the unit. It has two combs on the side. And also a comb at the nape. And jawstrings. So this is the full construction of it. Alright guys, so... You can see right here, this is the lace. It is thin lace, so it is an HD lace. Um, I believe this is probably their transparent unit. This is the hairline. As you guys can see, it does come pre-plucked, which is amazing. So if you guys don't know what you're doing, I would advise you to get units that are already pre-plugged because you don't have to do that much work. But um, this is what it looks like, okay? In its natural state. All right, guys, I'm deciding to do some color. Very, very, it was, I was very scared, y'all, to put some color in this. But as you guys can see, it turns out very well. So that's what we're doing. Um, I don't have the full clips of when... Um, I bleached the entire unit because of course my battery died but anyway we're going in with some developer of 40 by salon care and care and my wella color charm bleach i did pick these up from sally's before the whole covid 19 started so i do have a bunch of this in stock because y'all know sally's is closed right now so that is where i purchased everything from but i will have the links below um to where you can purchase it online just in case your beauty supply store doesn't have it or it's not open so yeah what i'm gonna do is start from the back and work my way to the front be mindful whatever section that you start from will be the lightest so i decided to put the lightest color in the back um there is no set measurements or anything that i use i just pretty much eye it I noticed that my consistency starting in the back was a little bit thick and I know the thicker the consistency to me in my opinion um, it processed the hair a little bit faster so I did go in and make my batter like a pancake consistency and I noticed it slows down the processing time um, a lot okay uh, it took me about 20 to 30 minutes to apply bleach to an to the entire units minus the roots okay i didn't go i did go close to the roots but not that close because i wanted my roots to stay in its natural state so y'all do be mindful to bleach i mean not bleach to brush out your section of hair you're applying to the bleach um before you put the bleach on because i had to um detangle it after i put the bleach on it and just made it a little bit hard so i don't know what i was thinking or what i was doing but be sure to detangle it and then apply the bleach so um yeah make sure you encourage the entire sec the entire section of hair with the bleach and like i said you pretty much can work at your own pace but you do have to just keep eyeing it so like i said after i play apply the bleach for 20 Oh my gosh, I can't talk. After I applied the bleach, I let it sit for 20 minutes while keeping an eye on it. And then I rinsed it out. And this is what she's looking like. I did deep, con well not deep conditioner. I just left regular conditioner in her for about four hours, then rinsed her out. I shampooed, then put the conditioner in, left that conditioner in for four hours, and then rinsed it out. And here we are. She still has her shine. She still has the color. And it still has a lot of body to this unit. So as you guys can see, I already went in and plucked the unit. I showed you guys what it looked like prior to me plucking it, but as y'all know, I'm a little bit extra, so I did go ahead and pluck the um, lace just a little bit more. 
So now I'm using my wax stick and my wax sticks are going to help everything lay down. Um, I'm going to hot comb it as well, but I just like to take my comb, just run my hands through it. Um, not run my hands through it, run the comb through it just a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and hot comb that and I will be back. All right, so now I'm taking some scissors and we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of the unit. Now, as you guys can see, the way I plucked it is gonna cause me to leave a little bit um, more lace on the unit than I normally do. But y'all, I would, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to just do different stuff, different tactics and different methods. So this is what we're doing. So I picked up these scissors from Dollar Tree as well, but you know, I feel like tiny scissors help you be more precise and helps you create more jagged edges. But now I'm just straightening up my unit just a little bit more. We're going to add this shade. This is the shade Warm from the ALF palette. I will have it linked in the description section. And I'm just going to take this and we're going to dust it all over the unit. Now off camera I did add my foundation. Um, I feel like I should have wiped more of my contour off of my forehead that way it would have blended a little bit more but this was something new I was trying so you know don't knock it until you try it <laughs> so now we're just gonna go ahead and secure the lace all the way around I am just using my got to be glue insta high hold spray and I'm just trying to pull it as tight as I can I noticed that's what I wasn't doing when applying my units I was just laying them down but not making sure they were tight to the point where it's not lifting I think that's what is creating my shadow of that white line is that I'm not pulling it tight enough I'm not laying it flat enough for it to blend so that's what we're gonna try so until I perfect it until I notice because I noticed it in this install y'all so of course y'all be like oh so it still looks the same yeah it looks the same because I didn't do that in this video but I'm telling you guys what I'm learning. So after I did that, y'all see me trying to get rid of the white line by putting some more got to be glue spray. But like I said, it's not tight enough. It's not pulled down flat enough for it to lay flat. So y'all, I think I found it. So stay tuned for, for upcoming installs, okay? Because I think I might be almost there to not wear baby hairs. But I did go ahead and pull out some of the baby hairs. And we're just going to use those same scissors and cut at an angle to create our baby hairs. And I say creating, I mean, cutting at an angle helps you create your swoops. Um, I feel like it's just easier. I did go ahead and create a side part as well for this. Um, yeah, I just wanted a side part because I know I'll be doing the middle parts. But now I'm going to use my, uh, what is it, ORS Wrap Foam Lotion. I did mix that together with some of the Got To Be Glue Insta High Hole Spray. And we can create our baby hairs. Just be mindful that the wrap... I mean that the spray is not waterproof so the alcohol and the wrap all of that can cause your lace to lift up but when you lay your scarf down and add some heat it's going to lay back down so just be very gentle and just be very careful and just know that if your lace lift it's okay just keep on swooping and then once you put your scarf on I'm going to show you that everything's going to lay down and you'll be like okay T okay I see I see what you mean. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take her off. Let me show you guys this goodness. Let me tell you that. Look at this, y'all. Bomb.com. I told y'all, I told you, I got your back. Now it looks freaking flawless. Nobody can tell me nothing. So yeah, <laughs> overall, I love work working with this hair. Let me tell you, you this hair, y'all, y'all did it. This is some bomb curly hair. 
some bomb curly hair to the point that I was so shocked because with curly hair, I noticed that most of the time um, when you bleach it, the curl pattern loosens, but this one didn't. It kept it same texture and you guys can compare the before and after it definitely did it made it loosened up a smidge bit but mo for most of all it kept its same curl pattern it didn't dry up on me it didn't you know um tangle up badly because of the bleach and i only used bleach to dye the unit didn't add no hair dye don't didn't add anything and it still has its luster its moisture its shine its body y'all they did the dang thing with this unit okay this is freaking amazing okay so imagine if you didn't want to add um, you know if you didn't want to add the color you could wear it in its original state but like i said this unit is color safe and it's it's not it's, it's rare that you find good curly hair that you can color okay and it still is able to you know look at it it speaks for itself y'all it speaks for itself so i'm overly impressed with this company okay i'm impressed with them i don't know if this is my i think this is my first time working with their hair but y'all I'm, I'm blown away they did the dang thing i love this unit so really hope you guys enjoyed um i had minor tang tangling and minor shedding that nothing out of the norm so yeah hope you guys enjoyed check the information down below in the description section and i'll see you guys later bye guys